Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 3rd of October 2023. It's evening here in Bangkok, early evening. And uh, a couple of hours ago, well about three or four hours ago, we had a situation. For those of you who are regulars to the channel will know that I'm based in Bangkok. And uh, I give news about what's going on uh, in various places and I don't often give news about Thailand but today unfortunately I have to. Uh, you may have already seen this or maybe you haven't seen it yet. Um, it's the video running here uh, you can see people uh, running out of uh, this shopping centre. Uh, this is Siam Paragon Centre in Siam Square in Bangkok. It's a very upmarket um, shopping centre and uh, the reason they're running out is because uh, there was a teenage gunman inside who shot and killed three people and injured. The, la the latest report that I heard was, was uh, four people were injured. <clears throat> that could increase uh, later. Um, the gunman was f the, sus the suspect. Uh, well... I mean, uh, he seemed to have done it. He was standing there with a gun in his hand. Uh, as aged 14. Yes, I did say 14. Um, it's a, a horrific tragedy. Uh, Paragon is a shopping centre I know very well. Most Bangkokians know it very well. Um, it's a kind of a super high-end place. They sell things like Lamborghinis and stuff like that actually in the shopping centre. Um... And uh, we are numb and shocked, I think, here in Bangkok. Surprising. This is the second time in Thai history that this has happened, that we've had a mass shooting like this. Uh, it happened once before, a couple of years ago. Um, of course, I understand that this kind of thing happens in the U.S. on a daily basis. It's dreadful. It just, it's just so awful. Innocent people shot, and who knows the reason why. I mean, I have no idea... <clears throat> of the person's motives or state of mind, obviously, you know, unbalanced in some way, but uh, it's a dreadful thing. Um, I have watched, I've been watching Thai television, and um, they had some film of the police arresting the boy. Um, they didn't shoot him. I mean, he um, surrendered, he put his hands up. Uh, they, the police um, arrested him in a furniture shop, I, th I believe it was. At first they thought it was the Kempinski Hotel, the, the initial reports were that, but it's not, that wasn't true. It seems to be a furniture shop of some kind. There's some surveillance footage, uh, which I don't have, and I couldn't show you if I had, uh, because also uh, the law is that minors should not be uh, shown on um, TV or the internet or anything like that if they've committed a crime. Uh, it's it's illegal to show their faces anyway, which is a good th thing, you know, um, and certainly something to be respected. But um, the, the the blurry version was on Thai TV, and you can see the Thai police um, breaking the glass door and coming through. And he, the boy, was on his knees with his hands in the air and just lay flat on the ground when you know, following it, the, their directions. And um, so they didn't kill him. But um, it's just an awful, tragic event. And uh, so close to home. Um, you know, I comment, comment on this. These things, they happen so frequently in America, they're often not even reported now. But it's a tragedy every time. You know, some people die for no reason. Uh, I was just chatting to someone and we were saying, well, we suppose that the security, you know, like across Bangkok is going to be tightened again. But I said that seems to... If this is not a terrorist, if you know, or, or something like that, then the, the the increased security might make people feel good, but it doesn't really do much. All it takes is one insane person to uh, do something, you know, to, to just go off the deep end and do something like this. The questions on Thai TV were, where did he get the gun from? Well, I, one video that I did back a few months ago was when I was travel when I went uh, to a different part of Bangkok which is quite near Chinatown and Little India. And I mentioned the fact that there are gun shops everywhere, absolutely rows upon rows of gun shops. Now, they're supposed to, they do 
have laws to follow about who they can sell guns to. But to be honest with you, this is Thailand. The truth is in Thailand, if you have money, you can do whatever you like. <clears throat> That's the honest truth. I love this country, but uh, if you have money, you can do whatever you like. Uh, that's an unfortunate thing. All right. Uh, let's play the game of Sudoku after that sad uh, news. Uh, we'll get on with the Los Angeles Times um, expert level puzzle. Uh, hello, this is me, a future me. Um, uh, I attempted the game and I messed it up. I messed the candidates up, made a mistake. Um, so uh, I'm going to play the game again, but I just wanted to keep the introduction. I didn't want to go through and do all of that introduction again. It's quite upsetting already. So um, I should just start from this point. And you should understand, though, this is a second attempt for me um, because I messed it up the first time around. So, you know, for full transparency, this is not my first attempt, but my second. I'm going to start with a six and eight blocking like this. And that's going to give me six and eight in those squares. I'm going to put candidates in immediately because I think that I'm going to need the candidates, okay? Uh, so I'm going to put that there. Um, so when the seven blocks up there, we know we're going to get sevens uh, going across there. Not much is happening with the sevens, but I just want to put them in, right? So let's see what else we've got. Ones like this. Um, we have got... Where are you? Okay. Uh, twos in those squares. Twos are somewhere up here. Pair of twos there. Three blocking up here, up here, cross, cross. So we can place a three there. We also have three across here and down here, which means there's a three. And threes block across like this and down, which gives me a pair of threes there. Uh, let's do this six first. Six blocking across like this and down here, there's our six. And the six blocking up here and up here and across there means there is our six. Six blocking across here will give us a pair of sixes there. Uh, we have nine blocking this way, nine this way, nine down here. There's our nine we can place. And the nine blocking up like so puts nines into those squares. Now we also have a pair of nines in these squares. So obviously over here we're looking for 9 only in those two squares there. And we also have the possibility of 9 in these squares here. Right, I know I'm, I've done this a bit higgledy-piggledy. Let's try and do it in a bit of a straight line now. Oh yeah, I forgot. we got the 1 down here. So this is a pair of 1 and 3 here now. When the 8 block's down here, we're going to get 8s in those squares so eight blocking up here eight blocking up here and eight across here means that that must be our eight and we also have eight somewhere across here eight is down here of course Uh, we have a pair of threes in these squares. Fours there. Uh, four has to be somewhere here, so it will appear somewhere there. Uh, okay, so I think that's the initial candidates in. 
let's fill in the missing digit here, which is going to be a four right now over here. Oh, strange sounds from my telephone. Uh, what do we know about the one? One blocks across like this and one blocks it back that way. So we get a pair of ones in those squares. Uh, what do we know about the four? Nothing really. So fours can go anywhere. And what do we know about the eights? I think again, we don't know anything about the eights. They can go anywhere. Right now, over to this block here, we're looking for two, two blocks across here like this. So twos are in those squares. And we're looking for five, five blocks across here. So five still possible like that. Okay. Right, I've done it right this time. I know what the mistake was that I made last time, by the way. So, uh,. I've not made the same mistake again this time. Uh, now, which direction should we go in? Any particular favorite? Let's just stay on this right hand side here. We've got one. What do we know about the twos in this block? Do we know anything? I don't know. Oops. Yeah, they don't go there. That's what we do know. <laughs> Two, uh, three, four. What do we know about the fives? Uh, again, not very much. And that's it. So up here now, what are we looking for? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks up like this. So we get sevens in those squares and everything else should be done. I'm going to put my glasses on. I need assistance. <laughs> Visual assistance, optical assistance. Um, I'm not spotting anything there, so let's go up to this section here. We're looking for ones there, uh, seven also there. Is that it? One, two, three, four. Seven, it is, so that's got to be a four. So, oh, this actually is an eight then. And the four is going to be here, and this will be a two. So that will be a five, and our two will be in this square here. And let's get rid of the two and the five in that square. Let's get rid of this five, and we're left with a pair of four and eight here now. Uh, two, seven, five, something. Ah, oh, the two. Okay, that's not a two anymore. So that must be a seven, and this will be a five, uh, giving us five in this square here. And let's do a bit of housekeeping, shall we? Get rid of those candidate fives. Okay. I think this is the only nine in this row, yeah, a column rather. Yes, it is. So then the nine will be there. And this will not be nine. Uh, we've got seven, so this is our one. This is our two. This is a seven. Two, three, four. Okay. Right, looking okay now, I think. See if we can do anything else. We have a pair of twos there now. Uh, I've got to get rid of that candidate four. And I've got to put fours somewhere in there. Ah, we have a pair of fours here. I've got a one already in this row, so that must be a seven. Let's get rid of the sevens. Uh, we have one, nine, five. So this is going to be sevens as a pair there. Uh, so this has got to be one then. And this must be one, and this must be one here. Let's get rid of one there and let's get rid of the one here 
we have a pair of four and eight down here now so that must be seven and this is where our five is I have no idea if this game was uh, much easier than I realized but I just messed it up because I messed it up I really wanted to play with candidates so that's how it is so we've got a pair of four and eight here now uh, and this is the only possibility for a two so let's put the two in and that will give me a two there and a two there and let's delete that and we know this is our four this is our three threes blocking across like so gives me a three up there three there one there one up there means that's our one this is our nine this is our five uh, this must be a nine and this is not this is a six seven is in that square gives me a pair of sevens there one more number to finish here what are you what are you are you a four I think you are Uh, this is a pair of four, and that can't be right. That's got to be eight. Okay, so that is our eight. This is our four. And that's our four. And this is... Uh, what are you? Seven? Okay, so seven here. And this will be... Uh, do, 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 do. Eight. That's an eight, then that's a six. So six here, five there, five there. And we have an eight already, so that's our four. That must be four. And that's our eight. So that's our Los Angeles Times expert level game. It was the second attempt for me. I messed it up the first time around. Uh, it seemed much easier the second time, so maybe I just was uh, not paying much attention the first time around. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.